right, another video, different one, brought to you live from my uh, kitchen in progress. As you can see, the floor <laughs> is uh, still a, a bare floor. Um, let's say I ripped up that tile a year ago. I just, I've been going back and forth between doing large format tiles, um, 48 inches, 24 by 48, or doing those um, vinyl planks. Um, after doing my garage tile, I realize it might be a bit of work, but it shouldn't be that rough. Um, but anyway, and then my backsplash. I had to remove the old countertops myself. It was like a granite. So I had to take the, the backsplash off. Um, and um, once I figured it out, the countertop was pretty heavy, but I got it broken up into segments. It was pretty good. And the cabinets were undamaged in the process, so. Um, I pretty much, they were going to charge me like 700 bucks to take it off. Uh, if I didn't have the time, maybe it would have been worth it, but I had the time. So I took it off myself and then they did the install, um, for the countertops, which made sense. Um, full suite of, uh, kitchen appliances. I just installed this thing this past week. It was definitely a fun install in that. Um, and then they did the install of the the sink. Um, and then I did the fixtures. Um, <laughs> what are you trying to prove? And then um, I did install the, the dishwasher here. can't really see it but the refrigerator I gotta fix this was where I started the backsplash removal process and um, it was like a nope stop go watch TV go nope go watch TV go go um, so that's where the backsplash got torn out um, and then there's like a little hole right there basically wherever there's tape is where I um, so Put some tape just so uh, you know conditioned air doesn't leak out into the wall basically no please leave don't watch the pepper pig go so yeah work in progress and then i'm gonna repaint these um cabinets so uh, figured when i was doing cleaning up the the range or the microwave, I realized tubber towel works great for removing the grease, so I'm gonna use tubber towel to remove that stuff. But anyway, I saw another video where I picked up um, a is that cart that I had for about a year. Uh, I had that cart mainly for using for like in the garage, but um, bought this husky tote. you know working doing these projects around the house and um, it just got super heavy um, it just got super heavy so basically basically I um, figured I needed a cart and um, and so I picked up this uh, Franklin um, card from uh, Harbor Freight today. Assembled it real quick. Um, seems sturdy enough. Hard plastic. It doesn't have any locks on the on the casters. I'm sorry, I'm panning the camera because my kid keeps running to the trash, and uh, he's not really dressed for prime time. You see the trash can closes that's him putting a trash from popsicle but anyway yeah he doesn't wear clothes um for whatever reason it's a two shelf looks sturdy enough my plan is to use this for just about anything that i'm working with like i said this thing got got really heavy so 
Um, I'm about to go through it and show you what all I've accumulated in there. Accumulated in there. Granted, I've been working on a lot of projects. I've been working on a, a, like a lot of projects. It's been raining all week, um, on and off. <clears throat> so whenever I can't work on a shed outside, which is about 70% complete, I'm just about finishing framing all the walls. Um, I still got, what, two, um, two small sections of the wall left in a corner, um, and then a side door, and then, yeah. And then once I get done um, framing those, I'll, um, well, I'll do a video on it, but I'll eventually paint the walls on the ground and then stand them up and then take care of the roof. But I gotta make a run to Home Depot anyway for supplies I ran out of. All right, so let's go through this and I'll just quickly go through it. It's not gonna be organized because this is gonna be an evolving process. Like I said, this is gonna be a, a handyman utility cart and just anything around the house. You know, um, it's just, honestly, it's probably gonna be loaded up, but I have to get in the habit of like removing stuff off it. But basically it should have all the general stuff that I would need. Um, and then I'm gonna leave this bag um, probably on the bottom with some larger stuff in there. Um, just so it's accessible. So like I said, um, the area around the house is pretty flat and I can wheel this in the house because I mean, it's under construction. Um, wheels won't get dirty um, or I can clean them off, whatever. And then uh, if I need to take stuff upstairs, I can take this upstairs. If my work is more permanently upstairs, then I'll just unload this and take this all up there. So anyway, uh, you're definitely gonna need some extension. I needed that for the vacuum yesterday where I was working on the the pot of room exhaust fan replacing it and turn off electricity and then still needed to vacuum up the the drywall dust from um cutting out the ceiling. So I needed to find the closest part extension in the house and definitely have a bunch of these. Found these for like fifteen bucks one year at Home Depot. Like a six pack for fifteen bucks. Like fifty foot extension cord. It was crazy. So I think I have three of them still like in the package. Um, dug around for this yesterday. Drywall saw. Oh, I got several of these. But yeah, used it to cut it out. It's like I mentioned doing the vacuum in. So we'll leave that handy. This stuff is sharp. Like, yeah. Um, a square working on the shed outside. This is a Swanson speed square. There's so many measurements on there and so many different features that I don't even know. Um, so we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave that there. Like I said, I'm just taking stuff out. Hammer, I swear, um, every time I moved, I would need a hammer and it would be packed away. And this was like one of those hammers I picked up from Home Depot Anvil. And I mean, I have quite a few hammers, different make and purposes, purpose hammer, but this one, I guess because it's not branded or it's not fancy, you know, I don't care about getting it like destroyed. Um, now, what I will say about this tool card is that it might become accessorized, like I might put stuff on the side or, you know, like whatever works for me. And I'm just gonna make this tool cart, this roll cart functional um but you have the the charger the wall charger the big ones like the six sequential sequential chargers but I'm thinking about slapping this on the side using like whatever type of hooks or screws you know so this could be on the side uh, with an extension uh batteries for my um i was using on the circular saw it's actually outside. Like I said, with two boys, I always remove batteries from power tools. Um, after I had gotten done tiling the garage, um, well, it'd be my first tile job. The grout was pretty much, um, or the thin set was pretty much, it oozed up between the tiles. And in order to apply the grout, and then, you know, for it to have adequate room, I had to go through and I had to like gouge each of those things out. Um, and this thing came in handy for that. This carbide blade, you can see it's kind of warped because how hard I was pressing on it. 
In fact, it comes with <coughs> comes with one blade, and I added a second a second one on it just for the width of the the grout lines. Um, so yeah, this thing comes in handy for cleaning out grout. So um, I had bought this one also, but never really used it. But uh, we'll keep it. Hey. That being said, it's probably time to take some of this stuff out if I'm not using it. It's not meant, this card is not meant to keep everything. It's just meant to keep general stuff. Um, and he's back. The trash can closes. Best feature when you have kids, they like opening the trash can using that little sensor and they don't have to touch it. That's great. Um, several utility knives. This one is actually the the little set screw fell out, but so we'll just keep that tucked away. And my little trusty husky, you know, like Christmas specials. Gotta have a decent um, pencil. Home Depot sells a bunch of these. Um, um, your ring camera, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta unscrew that little security thing. Boom. Never know any need an extension for um, any type of bits. So I got several of these just floating around, especially when you um, do uh, pocket hole screws um, or you just, you might have to get down in there. So, um, I personally like these um, bits. This is a Milwaukee. That's better than a Star Point <coughs> or Phillips. So I got several extensions. These are just the wall branded, but they they do come in handy. <coughs> um, this is what I said. I'm gonna accessorize this thing to where you know stuff like this can just like drop down in here um but for now i'm just gonna throw them on there my most commonly used size it's like a vim um sae part number is ns ns 100 xl maybe but you know using those like use these a lot for a lot of just little nuts and whatever like those like um I replaced all those um, AC vents in the ceiling because they were gross. And I think it was like the quarter inch screw. But they just go to your impact driver and they just zip stuff off. I need to find a metric set. I believe I have a metric set to this, but I need to have it also. Comes in handy. Use this way more than around the house than in automotive stuff. Cutting off tree branches, like I know they sell specific pruning blades and stuff, but I mean, these are mostly bimetals or whatever. I use them for anything. Um, I got a bunch of these. I got a bunch of Dewalt. I got some Milwaukee reciprocating saw blades. So if I'm using my reciprocating saw, which is currently in the garage and coupling the shed, I use these. I think I was using this recently to. I was using it to trim a piece of board, which I'll use this again to um, trim some um, supply on the shed. Um, again, a uh, scraper chisel I bought when I was doing my tiling project. I mean, it's a kind of a tiling brand, I guess. Um, yeah, scraper, I use it for everything. It's like a Harbor Freight, I picked up this little four pound sledge and I've definitely used it just randomly for whatever. If I need to hit something, it gets hit with that. Um, <coughs> I forget why I picked up this rigid extension, but it works because it has multiple, multiple connections, including a USB. 
Um, so you can never have too much power. Probably my first drill bits. I have a lot of drill bits. I have step drill bits. I have fancy drill bits, all kinds of drill bits. And I always go back to these. You know, people always complain about fancy stuff, but if it works, it works. Everything that I drill around the house, wood, you know, plaster, what, I don't know. I don't care. Except, obviously, it's not going to drain all into concrete, but um, the stuff works. And I've used every one of them. As you can see, I broke this one. I do have a um, a drill sharpener. What do you call that thing? Uh, I forgot what the name of the brand is, but I probably not worth my thinnest sharp sharpener unless I feel like. Uh, but I mean, you can see it. I drill. It's one of my go-to drill bits. It says drill bits because I have a lot of cases. They started making the clear ones, so you can see through. So I keep that handy. Um, Several Milwaukee batteries. Um, drill. I had this in my automotive setup, and I'll probably put it back in there. Um, and I'll put my uh, M18 in here. Uh, M18 hammer drill. This is also a hammer drill. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it in here. In fact, I need to take the battery out of here. I don't like leaving batteries and, and tools. It's just my thing, even though I have a lot more batteries than tools. This has a metal chuck on it, but I feel like this might get more home use than automotive use, so, but but still. I mean, to be honest, it's the same. I live on the same property, so same house. It's all my tools, so it doesn't really matter if it goes to automotive or whatever. It just depends on how clean they are and fancy. But yeah, what was I using this for recently? Mm, I was using it with a drill bit, of course. Um, yeah, I remember. I was really, in the past week and a half, I did something. Like this was in my Milwaukee with the rest of my Milwaukee tools, my Milwaukee box with automotive stuff, and I went and grabbed it. What was I doing? Uh, yeah, I don't remember. And then I need to start taking off these clips off here. I don't use them. They just annoy me. Get caught on stuff. Yeah. Um, Baco. Chisel. So when I was doing like um, removing like tile and stuff and <clears throat> what have you, anything that's just really challenging, I use this chisel. It's by Baco. So it's great. Um, that microwave that I was reinstalling, I ran out of uh, tape. So I bought my, my roll of tape. And I just used some painter's tape to capture loose ends so it doesn't ravel out. But anyway, the stuff always comes in handy. Um, I'm redoing, redoing like four exhaust fans in the house. Um, so this is gonna come handy, retaping those ducts. Um, this wild came out of my, um, again, my automotive collection. And that's because I realized I didn't really have a plier set on here. I do like these like standard, like slip joint pliers. Um, I mean, most people will say Nipex and all this stuff. They work, but I mean, this stuff works. Um, yeah. So this might just be one of my um, around the house tools here on out. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll return the wild to the collection of automotive and uh, pick up some dual since this one is a uh, quality USA tools, I guess. Maybe I'm gonna destroy it around the house. Same with my uh, Dominator pry bar. This is for my automotive setup, but again, I don't. I really haven't used it for automotive. I probably use it for more for home. Um, that exhaust vent was, I don't know, freaking welded into the, to the lumber. And I had to use this hammer on here and use that to like cut the aluminum piece, the metal piece to free it. Yeah. Um, picked up these gloves from Home Depot. A while back, as you can see, I got a lot of gloves, but 
unless this thing is like not doing its job anymore, which is still doing its job, you want this like piece here. I'll keep holding on to it. Um, love these little DeWalt cordless screwdriver. It's the gyroscopic one. So, so you can press it, the motor will run and it will do basically nothing until you, you basically flex it in the direction. And I have two of them. This one is the one that rotates the pistol. I never use it in the pistol. Um, I always use it straight on. Let's see, I need to charge it. But this comes with a different charger for these little batteries, so. I have two of them. I got the straight one and then I got this uh, multi-purpose one. So it's a gyroscopic technology, but it comes in handy. I remember I did a video on this and I called it a chuck or a clutch or something. I don't know, man. In Jamaica, we call stuff. We just call stuff stuff. I don't know. People get sensitive about that stuff. I realize words matters, but damn. Um, I have several Milwaukee tape measures. Um, and this is one I've been using. Yeah, this is one I've been using. Um, it kind of sticks, it kind of sticks still. But it works, a 30 footer. Um, so these are, these are the kind of stuff that will forever be on the cart because, you know, like, boom, there you go. M12 battery and a freaking, uh, I'll forever need those. So that just found itself a home. Um, that, uh, what do you call it? Exhaust fan in the powder room. I needed a bit. It's one of these square bits and I didn't realize these had like a dual end to them. Um, which actually prevented it from, um, can't find the stuff yet. Where is this? Anyway. I was gonna, the extension, where did it? So this extension piece, it doesn't really, it won't go down all the way in there because now it's like spring loaded, which I guess is fine. Um, but that's because it has a dual side to it. Um, so, um, Bueller caps, so this will get returned to my automotive collection. Um, I got a cheap um, Harbor Freight set of bits. I'm probably gonna throw them in here. Um, really, really untruly in every life. And then a set of gloves. Can't have too many gloves. I don't usually use gloves when I'm working unless it's gonna be like dirty or like, you know, like when I'm moving those lumber, I don't wanna like grab a splinter or something. Yep, not a, not a battery. I do like these um, 3.0 high capacity, very versatile. Always need some painter's tape. Um, you never know where you need to put painter's tape to like drill so you don't splinter or like mask off something and you know, whatever. Always need it. My first roll of this um, foil tape ran out. So I'll, I'll go through this so I can, you know, get rid of that. Um, my uh, Franklin sensors, uh, Stud finder, eh, it works. It has a level built into it. There you go. Do that. And I have a lot more smaller tools that, honestly, and that's the thing about this toolbox. It became heavy because all the different projects I was working on, I'd realize I need something and I'll go in the shed for it. So this thing is probably gonna be filled up soon, but I don't mind if it's filled up. Um, 
but filled up with practical stuff, that stuff that, you know, everyday stuff, not stuff like once in a while. Stuff that's once in a while, that's going to be left in the shed. Um, and the reason I bought this is because I'm also building a second shed, so I'll hopefully have the space to just store it. And if I need to pull it out, I can just pull it out and get it going. Um, yeah, let's try to... So basically, this box started like this. This bag started like this. And then you saw how it was. So I'm gonna have to reposition this slightly. Um, pick this guy up. And we'll just keep going through it. Um, uh, Swanson um, Square, I use this a lot just for squaring off stuff and marking lines and whatever. Um, I've never used this on here, but I guess. Um, Titan putty knives. I believe I got, I want to say I got like three of these. Well, pretty good flex for them. HDX Home Depot brand. I need to clean these up. I'm not going to do it in the house at this point, but obviously if I need to use it, looks like I was using some kind of wood putty. Yeah. On my, um, the platform for my hydraulic press. I was reef. I was filling in those um, bolt holes that I made with um, wood putty. Um, markers. You always gonna need markers. Somehow this the wall drill on. Um, yeah. The, I guess it, this was just sitting in here. But this is the M12 I've been running, um, really. I love this uh, Milwaukee bit. Hasn't really stripped out or anything, and um, it's pretty good. Surge impact driver, the M18, I got the M12. Um, <coughs> yeah, again, these clips, don't really need it. I'm gonna remove it. I should just start taking them off of that. As I come across them, um, got this on a a deal, a deal or whatever you want to call it. With a actually, let's let's run it down to the low setting so it doesn't scare the the Jesus out of me. Let's run it down all the way. Yep. Then I'll then I'll definitely have to turn it up to get it going. Um, um, I personally like the Dewalt ones better. Um, Particularly because the DeWalt has the automatic, you can press the button and change the head on it, change the direction of the head. But I think my DeWalt one was, well, I was searching for uh, an oscillating saw and this was the one I saw first and I was doing some drywall work. I still have some drywall work to do around the house, <laughs> around the fireplace where I removed the tile and then in the kitchen where the, when I was removing the backsplash, I kind of gouged out it, so I was replacing those. Um, so, yeah, that's why it looks used because it has been used. But I, like I said, I like the DeWalt better. I have a million screwdrivers, but for some reason, this is my one and only DeWalt screwdriver in my tool bag. Um, and I like it because, well, you pull down on the sleeve and you have this, this shank right here. And it just pops in and locks where, well... I noticed this has been action up recently. The other day it was like stuck in the down position and it would not like come out, but you can extend it. <coughs> but my go-to screwdriver after having a million screwdrivers, something this really doesn't matter, right? My little level, I mean, I got a couple different sizes. I got everything from this size all the way up to like 72 inch level. <laughs> Um, and uh, I got 24, I got 36, I don't know, 56, 76, I don't know, but you, gotta, you just never know when you're, the this, space this that, the little confined space that you have calls for a small little level, and this thing is one of those, I mean, to, I'm, I know um, DeWalt or Milwaukee cells are a very small one, I'm going to get that also, because you just never know. Having the right tool for the job makes it so much more fun. It's one of my tape measures. I don't use this one 
nearly as much because clearly it doesn't have all the incremental margins. Well, it does, but they're not. It's like a clock without a face. <coughs> Our numbers, I guess, but I don't know. I just like seeing the numbers. Um, it's nice to have redundancy. This Bosch driver, impact driver, I got it from um, Lowe's. And it came with the drill. This thing kind of wobbles. <coughs> but, and I was like, I mean, well, I was stuck with it at that point. So I was like, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it regardless. I'm going to find the battery, actually. But I'm going to use the, I'm going to use my money's worth out of it. <coughs> and that's probably why I have it out here. <coughs> Never know when you're going to need to cut some PVC, which um, I'll be doing here shortly to fix my sprinkler situation. And you got this mamma jammit or some rubber hose or something. And it just ratchets and you just don't get your finger in there. Okay, I was like, how does it release? You just pull back on it. I was like. And then to release it, you just pull back. So we'll close it up and stop playing with this before we get cut. And then this just has this little clip right here. You pull back on it. <coughs> Sorry about that. It goes to one and five eighths, I guess, is what they're saying. Whatever. You gotta have some kind of cutter. So for my DeWalt batteries, I always um, keep these um, clearly says to use your batteries, remove the little clip, transport you, you slide it back on kind of like deactivates the cell. So I always keep these. Um, so clearly, so in this fashion, clearly this, bat this battery is safe for transportation because it has deactivated the cell. I, have, I mean, they're slightly inconvenient, but they're not the end of the world. Um, Specific to the wall battery, so clearly I have another battery that's missing one. Um, another tape measure. Let's see. So this one was plain vanilla, no magnet. This one is magnetic because it says magnetic right there. So, I mean, you can get these for dirt cheap. And again, it doesn't have all the fancy numbers, but you never know when you need to magnetize to something. There we go. Three of those. When I was doing my tiling work <clears throat> and I had to snap my own line, well, basically I'd have the wife come out every morning before she would go to work and we would slap a couple lines. Um, Yeah. And then I would figure out how to do it by myself. So you never know when you might need a chalk line. That stove is pretty sensitive. The light just came on just from that banging sound. Um, they say you can remove trim around the house. Like all the trim around this house is removed, at least on the first floor. Um, because I'm gonna redo the tiles and stuff. I, I removed the tiles, so I'm gonna redo them. But this thing, it it has this little lip right here, so you're supposed to you know hammer down on here, and then it's supposed to separate the tile. But you still wanna you still wanna go around, and you wanna score where the baseboard meets the wall, the drywall, because then all that paint will just rip, and it's just gonna be a messier job. So. 
Um, I've honestly, <coughs> sorry, I've honestly, <clears throat> this wasn't working too hot for me. I felt like it was like creating too much of a, too much like marring, um, maybe for like heavier duty stuff. I mean, it's pretty solid. Like this stuff is, doesn't have any flex to it. Um, that's the brand, but yeah. I mean, this is a tool where, you know, you can get it on or something. You can pry on it. I mean, you got to, it has a little nail puller right here. You just, you can hammer it down somewhere, pull on it. You, it's a multi-purpose tool. But this is the little tool I use. Again, this is a Home Depot. Um, I forget the name of the brand. The brand, that's something. Um, but this is what I use. Um, I'll score the trim. I'll hammer this down between there and I'll start prying on it a little by little. Uh, if I need to get this down there behind the trim, I'll put this down there, pull on it and keep walking it all the way down the, the trim until all those little um, nails are released. Um, assortment of crappy pencils. You need all kind of sharp sharpies and you know, if you saw big ones, you use you know, red ones. You know, <clears throat> so more crappy pencils, but whatever. More, more stuff. Um, I clearly used this for something. I don't remember what I used it for. But again, multi-purpose brush. Lock wire, mostly used in aviation, at least in my experience, um, whole spool. I needed some wire, and this was a convenient way to have some wire always available to you on a spool. So, um, tuck that edge, tuck this end back in there so we don't get poked. Um, but yeah, this is a, I mean, I, this is convenient enough to leave on the, the trolley here. Um, just never know when you might need to use it to hold something else. Uh, here's that Milwaukee extension piece. And again, this tool card is gonna get organized. Aha. Uh -huh. I swear if my kids find this, it's gonna be missing. I think that's why I didn't even realize I had it because I took it from him. Um, but you just never know when you need to get in a really small area. So, you know, six feet, the walkie tape measure. So that's what, number five? Crescent wrench. Just random crescent wrench, you never know. It's not fancy, it's just a 12 inch Stanley. Um, but you just never know. Like, this is not about fancy stuff. Maybe I need to hold something and it doesn't have to be a Snap-on or a name brand. It works, it works, man. And that's what I love about having some having tools. Man, I put this recip blade through the paces, cut in like, I mean, you can see it's bent, um, but it's still sharp. And this was a, it was a wood. Uh, it's meant for wood with nails. And so I've definitely put it through the paces, cut in a ply. As you can see, it's warped. I'm not sure if I can, I might be able to use the, Add a little sledge to beat on it and get it straight again. But yeah, I have seen, I've seen. You just never know when you're gonna need to get in a little tight space with a little tight hacksaw. No one uses hacksaw, but sometimes a grind, a grinding wheel or a chop saw or you know those little cutoff saws, electric saws aren't gonna do the job. I've had to be working in a tight situation before where I've had to take out this hacksaw from this frame and just use it as is. So, I mean, I got a regular hacksaw. There's that. Can't have too many of these little things, man. You just load them up with all kinds of different bits and you never have to change them out. Um, I know I was looking for this silly thing when I was buying my house. Um, 
I was watching a channel and it talked about, you know, realtors just going around um, and measuring the distance for whatever. Um, this is a quick way for me to, well, really, I used it to plan out my garage and see if the garage actually worked for me. Really, I wanted a three-car garage, but I found some in a neighboring town, didn't like the drive. It wasn't really a crazy drive, but I just didn't like it, so... I settled for a two-car garage, knowing well that I would have to build a shed. It came with a shed, and knowing well that I'd have to build an extra shed. So that's what I'm in the process of doing. But yeah, um, yeah, trying to figure out the room sizes. Um, actually, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with the kids later with this stuff. They won't even know what hit them. We don't have any cats or animals here at the house, but this is great. For for one hand one man operations where you don't have someone to hold a tape measure, this laser, this is this is awesome. But I bought it specifically when I was gonna purchase a house. I think it turns off automatically, we'll see. Another little chisel I bought for the tile situation. Um didn't really use it much, but as a chisel. Can't go wrong with a chisel. Um, I do have an electrical cart, and this cart is going to be multi-purpose. It's going to have everything. I'm going to be able to do everything out of this cart. But you're always touching electrical stuff. And if I'm here by myself, I will go to the main breaker panel, and I'll turn off the master. And then I'll go to the sub panel, and I'll turn off the circuit breaker. I don't play with electrical stuff. And then I'll test it. Um, so it's like triple redundancy, but you can't go wrong having one of these little things handy. So, see, automatically turned off. So we'll go play with the kids later. I do have a set of chisels that are really nice. These I picked up from Home Depot, and it's again, I don't really care about them. So this one is like, it's, you can see it's pitted up. We can, we can shave it down. But, you know, it's a one inch and a half inch um, kind of striking. Yeah, they're striking. Like this one, this one inch obviously has been strike, stroke, shriken, strike, striked. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't sound right. This one hasn't really. But yeah, you can't go wrong with chisel, man. Just never know. You're going to have to chisel. All right. I'm actually just. See what I have in these little pockets, to be honest. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, they're pretty deep, actually. Just trying to make sure. Well, I should be very careful that I don't, like, push my hand down there and something goes up between my, my fingernails. That would be really gross tonight. I don't think I have any razor blades or anything in there. I'm not that callous. Um... Eye protection. So that's something that if I'm gonna have on this card, I'm gonna have a little eye protection state, not eye protection, but safety station, eye protection, air protection, you know, what have you. These are my Milwaukee. I'm really hit or miss on it. I, I'm all about eye protection, using protective equipment. Um, but sometimes it, um, something has to really start turning out bad. And then I was like, you know, let me stop and use some eye protection or hearing protection. Like for instance, um, I realize, you know, just building multiple wall segments of the shed, this impact was just going um, and my ears started hurting and I was like, you know what? How about I put this stupid, it's not stupid, but how about I put the silly air muffs on? Um, so I only have one out here. Typically I'll have more than one because when the kids come around, they think it's cool putting it on, but they don't really, 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 ah, they don't really realize it's for their own good. Um, and I end up giving mine. So, um, yeah. Sometimes you don't need a chalk line. I guess, is this called a chalk line, a string line? You don't need a chalk line because there's no chalk to this. It's just a string. But sometimes you just need a string line. <laughs> Like doing landscape at the front of the house, that's gonna come in handy. 
I've definitely used that before, as you can see. Um, I bought this carbide scraper again for the grout, and this one doesn't really get used, utilized, but I could see where it could come in handy. So we'll, uh, we'll probably put those back with all the tile and stuff. <sighs> this goes into one of those little um, orbit controllers for sprinklers. Gotta have some used like latex gloves. Um, so yeah, that is the toolbox. And then in here, as you can see, whenever I <coughs> Whenever I'm working on stuff and I, I just have random screws or whatever, um, this is where I just toss it on till I, I have time to like throw it back into the, the main <coughs> bolt stuff, bolt bin. But this is where I just throw random stuff on till I, uh, I get a chance to, yeah, I didn't use this brush at all to clean out the grouts because I just vacuumed it out. Uh, what else? Got one more little goodie right here. The video's almost going an hour long, but... Aha. Uh -huh. This little set. Um, I guess it has the hex on it. That'd be cool. Maybe I should start using this more. See, because it was buried in there. You just never know if you might need a little stubby impact driver. Oh, doesn't want to stay in. Interesting. Hmm, maybe that's why I don't use it. Huh. So what's the difference between this and this? Interesting. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I don't use it. Obviously, it would stay on the fastener, but it's kind of weird that it doesn't lock in place. It's supposed to be a. That's weird. Huh. There we go. So this one locks in place. So why wasn't that not locking in place? Interesting. Come on. Yeah. Huh. <coughs> just, she's just finicky, that's all. So you might never know when you might need a set of stubby um, drivers. Again, this is Tack Life. SAE. So come in handy. Um, actually, this is the bit I used to assemble the cart, the top portion of it. Um, so yeah, this card, um, this bag is gonna, I'm not getting rid of it because I got it for a reason. <coughs> it's like 50 something, 50 bucks at Home Depot. Um, got it because I was like taking stuff around the house and you know, before you know it, I needed something to put stuff in and Turned out to be the little bit overload. I'm trying to see in the pockets using the light from the perfect angle. Make sure there's nothing down in there. But um, like I said, this is gonna stay on the cart just for those uh, awkward pieces. I don't know. It might stay on the cart. It does take up a lot of space, as you can see. So. It might just be on standby because um, like if I'm using my circular saw or stuff, I want it to be down there. Like I can throw my extension down there. Um, 
but um, this is gonna come in handy and make, especially after working hard around the house, you know, I can wheel this stuff around um, and like, you know, wheel it in the car the corner. All the tools are on there. So at the end of the day, I'm not picking up stuff off the ground. Um, and like I said, I mean, stay tuned. I do have a lot more, a lot, lot more smaller tools that are gonna come in handy. It's just there in the shed. <clears throat> and right now they're buried. Um, um, but yeah, really, really like the idea of having this for functionality around the house. Who knows if I'll use it that much after I get done with all the larger projects, but certainly um, it's way better than like hauling that thing around. Even if I had to lift this thing up over the door, um, you know, the door to get it inside or outside, it's gonna be worth it once I'm on a flat surface and able to leave it next to my workstation and just filter through. And then um, I'll clean this stuff up. I just wanted to take all that stuff out in a quick little video. Um, so we're just gonna part this in the house. Um, definitely not something I wanna leave for the kids to ravage through because uh, my my oldest, when he was younger, I left a toolbox which has some little decorative screws on it and he got a screwdriver and before I know it, he had all those things removed. So um, they see me using this stuff and they wanna mimic what I do and next thing you know, the house is going to fall down on us, so certainly not stuff that I'll leave <coughs> for the kids to mess around. But anyway, this video is uh, plenty long. Um, we're going to call it, we're gonna call it a, a cap right there. Um, I do have the Hizek card. It's assembled. It's good to go. It's way more um, robust than this. Um, <coughs> That's gonna be mainly for, for the garage, for like working on cars, washing the cars and stuff. Um, I picked up a cheap Harbor Freight um, little foam inlay. It might not be sturdy enough. I'm thinking about buying the ones that come with the Icon, but because um, the ones I picked up aren't really sturdy. So I might just settle for, might have to buy the ones that came with the Icon to lay out in, inside of it because the Hazet is metal, and I don't want to mess up the the paint job um, prematurely. This I'm not worried about. It's a hard plastic, and it's going to be... I want it to be rugged. Uh, in fact, I might start slapping stickers on here and, like, freaking get a can of spray paint and just, like, spray a piece of... I don't know. Spray a bolt on top of here. Uh, it doesn't matter if it has... If it has character, that's great. Um... But yeah, pick this one up today. Uh, Harbor Freight, hundred bucks, hundred and ten bucks, hundred and nine bucks. Um, but it's functional. Only wish it had locking casters, uh, at least one. So anyway, like me, I always say, like on anything. <laughs>